good evening all now we will discuss some problems on network theorems okay first first problem three equal resistances of 3 ohm are connected in star okay what is the resistance in one of the r in an equivalent delta connection right that means star values is given 3 ohm 3 ohm 3 ohm right we need to replace star with delta that is assume r1 r2 r3 right okay first of all I, I need to calculate one resistor r3 okay the resistors which are adjacent to r3 is 3 ohm and 3 ohm right okay to transform delta to star the formula will be sum of these two adjacent resistors that is 3 plus 3 plus product of those two adjacent resistors divided by remaining resistor that is remaining resistor value is 3 ohm okay that is 3 and 3 will be cancelled 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 ohms okay that means you can remember the shortcut if equal values are connected in star okay 3 3 ohm resistors right connected in star then what is the resultant value of delta means the resistance will be multiplied by 3 times okay that means the value is 3 ohm is the sorry 9 ohm is the answer okay Sim next problem 3 equal values of resistances of 5 ohm are connected in delta here delta okay what is the resistance in one of the arm of the equivalent star circuit okay if you transform star to delta the equivalent resistance is multiplied by multiply with 3 delta to star means divided by 3 that is 5 divided by 3 the value is 1.33 ohm is the answer okay next question superposition theorem is valid only for okay it is valid only for linear circuits only next fourth one superposition theorem is not valid for okay superposition theorem not valid for first one is voltage it is valid for voltage responses it is valid for current responses but not valid for power responses that means fourth answer is correct okay next determine the current i in the circuit shown in figure now see here here in this book here it is printed mistake this is 10 volts okay 10 volts current current source value is 2 amperes here we need to calculate current flowing through 2 ohm resistor right okay what is the first option first option is 2.5 second option is 1 third option is 3.5 fourth option is 4.5 right first here you need to apply nodal analysis now see here first identify the junction right at this junction here i is outgoing di out i current direction is out outwards already is given okay this 2 ampere source current source direction is also is given right here i am assuming here the source another direction will be i1 okay apply kcl at this junction you will get i is outgoing current i1 is also outgoing current that is i plus i1 is equals to 2 amperes is incoming current right sum of in sum of outgoing currents is equals to sum of inco incoming currents that is i plus i1 is equals to 2 amperes okay now first we need to calculate this i value that means assume here potential will be v okay that means i value will be potential difference that is v minus 0 ground potential is 0 that is v minus 0 by resistance value is 2 ohm plus i1 value will be v minus 10 by see here your potential difference will be v minus 10 by 2 is equals to 2 that is v by 2 plus v by 2 value is v that is equals to right v by 2 well plus v by 2 is v minus 10 by 2 i can take on right hand side right that is 2 plus 10 by 2 value will be 5 node potential value is 7 volts okay here node potential value is 7 volts but our aim is to calculate current i right here current i is nothing but i is equals to v by 2 right here v value is already calculated 7 then i value is 7 by 2 you will get 3.5 amperes is the answer okay next reduce the circuit shown in figure okay circuit shown in figure to its Thevenin's equivalent circuit as viewed from terminal a and b okay now see here the seven thevenin circuit consisting of 15 volts battery 
in series with 100 kilo ohm okay that is first option next the circuit consisting of 15 volts battery in series with 22 kilo ohm next the circuit consisting of 15 volts battery in series with parallel combination of 100 kilo ohm and 22 kilo ohm just observe the figure what is the thevenin's equivalent circuit thevenin's equivalent circuit consisting of vth in series with rth in series with rl right okay here rl value is 22 kilo ohm that means the thevenin's equivalent resistance circuit as viewed from terminal a and b from terminal a and b means vth in series with rth right that is the circuit consisting of 15 volts battery in series with 100 kilo ohm okay suppose in the option if it is there 15 volts in series with 22 kilo ohm in series with sorry 100 kilo ohm in series with 22 that is also correct but in this option this the series combination of total is not there means hence answer is 15 volts in series with 100 kilo ohm is the answer okay next Norton's equivalent circuit consisting of already we know that Norton's equivalent circuit consisting of current source in parallel with Norton's resistance right that is current source in parallel with resistance fourth answer suppose in case of Thevenin's theorem voltage source in series with Thevenin's equivalent resistance that means here answer is current source in parallel with resistance okay next reciprocity theorem is applicable for okay it is applicable for here first option is linear networks only non-linear networks only sorry here 3.8 right the reciprocity theorem is applicable to linear networks only option b bilateral networks only okay option c linear or or bilateral networks okay reciprocity theorem is applicable for linear as well as bilateral networks here is in first option is, is clearly mentioned linear networks only means it is applicable for only linear next second option is bilateral networks only, only bilateral but it is applicable for linear or bilateral networks right that is option c is correct next compensation theorem is applicable for okay option a linear networks option b non-linear networks right option c linear and non-linear networks option d neither of the two okay one and only theorem which is applicable for both linear and non-linear circuits is compensation theorem okay remember this point next next question maximum power is transferred when load impedance is okay in case of maximum power transfer theorem maximum amount of power is transferred from source to load when source resistance is equals to load resistance okay here load impedance is equals to source impedance or here from first option that is equal to source resistance right second option is equal to zero that is not correct equal to half of the source resistance that is also not correct none of the above that means option a is correct next the circuit shown in figure shown in figure what is the maximum power transfer to the load okay that means here rl value is not given right okay here here he is asking what is the maximum power what is the formula p maximum is equals to vth square by 4 rl why because he is clearly mentioned maximum power is transferred to the load when maximum amount of power transfer to the load source resistance is equals to load resistance right your source resistance value is 2.5 okay now first we need to calculate vth right if we remove this load resistance rl across those two terminals we need to calculate vth right now current flowing through battery is zero then vth is equals to same as supply voltage then p maximum is equals to vth square that value will be 10 square divided by 4 into rl right okay that is 10 square is nothing but 100 4 into rl value is 2.5 100 by 4 into so 2.5 that value will be 100 by 10 you will get maximum power as 10 watts that is option c is correct okay indicate the dual of series network consisting of voltage source capacitance inductance okay in case of dual theorem if the circuit is having voltage source that should be replaced by current source 
okay if the circuit is a series circuit that, that should be replaced by parallel circuit if it is having a series resistance that will be replaced by parallel conductance series inductance and series capacitance also is replaced by parallel elements now see here first option parallel combination of resistance capacitance and inductance here it didn't give any information about voltage right that means that the first option is not correct next second option series combination of current source okay what in the problem what is given series of voltage source means parallel combination of current source is correct that means second option is also not correct then third option parallel combination of current source correct inductance and capacitance right all parallel values that means option c is correct next when the superposition theorem is applied to any circuit the dependent voltage source in that circuit is always okay in case of superposition theorem dependent sources are always active only why because that dependent source value is depends upon another variable that means another branch current for example see here in this problem this vx value is depends upon this supply voltage that means this dependent source voltage value is depends upon another variable hence that should be is in active mode only okay next superposition theorem is not applicable to networks containing okay superposition theorem is applicable for dependent sources right already we know that dependent voltage sources right that means it is not applicable for non linear elements or non linear devices okay that means option a is correct next the thevenin's voltage in the circuit shown in figure okay what is our am we need to calculate thevenin's voltage that means here i is equals to 0 right here we need to calculate voltage thevenin's voltage across these two terminals right okay that means first thevenin's voltage is nothing but open circuit voltage under open circuit condition current i is equals to 0 right that means this potential same voltage is applied across these two contacts that means here potential is also v thevenin's that is equals to vx right here potential vx is already given in the problem that means v thevenin's is equals to vx right now add this potential here current is zero right apply nodal analysis current i already here current value is given right current source that is i plus 0.1 vx is equals to zero here i value will be again vth minus 2 by vth minus 2 by 2 plus 0.1 already we know that vth is equals to vx is equals to zero that is vth divided by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 vth plus 0 0.1 vth is equals to 2 by 2 that value will be 1 okay then zero point six sorry see here wait a minute here i is outgoing current this current is incoming current right okay that means at this junction apply kcl i is equals to zero point one vx right vx okay that means i value will be here potential difference vth minus 12 vth minus 2 vth minus 2 divided by 2 plus sorry is equals to from this equation 0 0.1 vth okay vth by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 vth minus 0 0.1 vth is equals to 1 that is 0 0.4 vth is equals to 1 that is vth is equals to 1 by 0 0.4 that is that is 4 by that is 10 by 4 right that value will be approximate 2.5 volts right 2.5 volts means what is the answer second one b is the answer okay next next problem natan's current in the circuit shown in figure okay now see here here we need to
calculate Norton's current, right? Here, what is given? This is voltage source, right? Plus minus in the, this is dependent voltage source. This is resistance, right? Voltage source in series with resistance is replaced by current source in parallel with resistance, right? Okay, that means to get current source value, V by R is nothing but you will get current source, right? That means that current source value will be 2I divided by 5. Series resistance is replaced by parallel resistance, right? And 1 ohm. That means this is the Norton's equivalent circuit, right? What is our aim? Norton's current in the circuit. This is voltage, right? Norton's current is nothing but V by R, right? That is 2I by 5 is the answer. Okay. That means what is the first, op first option is correct. Okay. Next. Last problem. A DC circuit shown in figure has a voltage V and a current source I and several resistors. Okay. This is a network. It is having one voltage source and having one current source and a load resistance RL, right? Which dissipates a power of 4 watts. Okay. When only voltage only acting alone. Okay. Next, the same resistor dissipates a power of 9 watts when current alone is active. Okay. The power dissipated by resistor R when both sources acting alone. Okay. This is in case of superposition theorem, right? Here only two sources are present, right? Then the power formula will be under root P1 plus or minus under root P1 plus or minus under root P2 whole square when two sources are present when three sources are present plus or minus under root p1 plus or minus under root p2 plus or minus under root p3 okay this solution is not required for this formula just remember this formula right what is the p1 value here p1 value is 1 is 4 watts 1 is 9 watts right that is Consider positive value here under root P1 that is root 4 plus root 9 whole square that is root 4 value is 2 plus root 9 value is 3 whole square you will get 2 plus 3 whole square 5 whole square that value is 25 okay in this way we can solve problems okay thank you all